Hi, my name is Michael Novello from visualpixels.com and here I show you fast and effective Photoshop tutorials to create amazing results. Hi, today I want to show you how you can create a planet like this. In the next few tutorials I want to show you several methods how to create planets, space nebulas, planet rings and so on. And <clears throat> this one here is one method, it's, there are several methods out there. But this is one method I want to show you. For this I have here a uh, texture, I have downloaded that at cgtexture.com and I'm going to desaturate that by pressing Ctrl U, bring the saturation down and in image adjustment, brightness and contrast, I'm going to lower the brightness here and increase the contrast. This uh, value is always depending on your image there's no um, there's no magic number <coughs> just try it and see what is looking good okay now i have this black and white high contrast image here and i'm going to with a elliptical marquee tool i'm going to create a circle and by holding the shift key it's a perfect circle and if I press the spacebar, I can adjust the position of this circle here. Okay, now I'm going to filter, distort, spherize, and with the amount of 100%, I'm clicking OK. Then I'm going to click with the right mouse button and I say layer via copy. Then we have this sphere here. Now I want to adjust again the brightness and contrast. Going up with the contrast here and with the brightness as well. So that we have really white zones and dark zones here. And I click OK. And then I'm going to add a color balance adjustment layer. And I'm going in the highlights. I'm going with uh, yellow and in the midtones, uh, let's add some red here and a little bit of yellow and in the shadows as well. I want to have a yellowish reddish planet like that. And then I'm going back to select my planet layer and I'm going to select color range and I want to choose one of the dark tones here and with a fuzziness of about 125, 130. I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to copy the selection by pressing Ctrl C and with Ctrl V I'm going to uh, in insert the selection and then I'm going to uh, invert the selection like that and I'm going to image adjustments U in saturation and I'm going to desaturate that and click OK. And I'm going to decrease this opacity here to about 20% or so. And I'm going to <coughs> sorry, I'm going to blur this out just a little bit. Uh, not blur, sorry. Let's go back. And <coughs> to blur Gaussian blur and with about one pixels I'm going to blur this. And press OK. And with Ctrl J I'm going to copy this layer here. And then I'm going to filter, stylize, and both. And I'm choosing yeah let's go with uh, about two pixels. And I'm setting the lights to minus 45 or so. And the amount of, let's go with 200%, around about 200. Okay. And I'm going to set this opacity to about 30%. So that we, that we have a little bit of details on this planet. And with the other layer, 
I'm going to filter, stylize, embose, and this time I'm choosing a higher number, like six or so, and click OK. And this one goes with about 20% opacity. And now I'm going to copy the base texture here and I'm doing the same thing as I did before like that and then I set this layer here to overlay like that now we have really some textures in there there are mountains there are uh, valleys and so on now I have to set this layer with 30% opacity to uh, overlay and this layer with 30% opacity I'm going to set to hard light. And now you can see the difference before, like before, it's uh, more contrasty, we have more uh, height differences here. and then I'm going to add a new layer above the other layers and I'm going to add a solid color layer and I'm going to select uh, something like uh, let's go with the color number here like this uh, oh, orange tone here and click OK then I'm going to set the layer to screen and go the opacity to about let's go with about 50 percent like that and because i don't want to have the color here on the on the back here i'm going to click in there click on the mask and control, um, control backspace and then I'm going to invert the layer here, the layer mask. Okay, that's not what I want. Uh, okay, let's delete the mask. Sometimes it's, um, yeah. Uh, okay, let's create a mask and let's invert the mask. So now we have only the the planet selected here because the planet is now looking really flat uh, it has no shadows no highlights i'm going to create a new layer and with a soft brush and a yellowish bright color i'm going to paint over the planet like that So that we have a little bit of a uh, atmosphere here. Like that. And then I set this layer to overlay. And I load the opacity to yeah, let's go with 60% or so. And <clears throat> then I'm going to add a new layer and with a uh, more orangey color like that i'm going to paint again over this part here let's go with a little bit more of opacity here and let's paint over that like that and i set the layer to screen and i load the opacity to about 50 percent or so and <coughs> then I'm going to add another layer and now let's go with a more brownish color like that and again I'm going to paint over this part here and this time I set this layer to linear dodge and I set the opacity to yeah, let's go with let's go with about fifty percent or so. 
and then last layer will be um, here uh, another layer, new layer, and we fill it with black. Let's go with black, fill bucket tool. Oh, okay, we have to deselect it, <coughs> and there we are. This is this version of the planet, and here we have another version of the planet, the same texture. It depends on the brightness and contrast and the color balance. Thank you for watching my videos. Um, if you like my videos, you can subscribe to my channel right here in the middle, and my last two videos you can find here and here. And if you really like my videos, you can support me on patreon.com. Here's the link. And thanks again. And see you next time. Bye.